tip here. So we are well into 2015. We're getting toward the end of January. And if you're like most people, you probably have some goals for the start of the year to get your fitness in order and to get your diet in track. I'm sure you have great intentions for the start of the year. Oh my gosh, come January 1st, it's all changing. I got P90X, I'm doing that every day. I'm, I'm not gonna have fast food. Oh yeah, all the sweets are gonna be gone. No more sweets, no more pop for me. Come on 2015, come on, what you got? Let's do it. Come on 2015, uh, 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 mm, boom. And you know, you were probably really good at starting your probably first few days, five days, maybe even a good couple of weeks. You hung in there and you exercised and you ate really well. And then at some point, like a thread on an old sweater, things just started to unravel. I just want a cookie. I mean, is, is that too much to ask? Okay, or how about like a glass of wine? Just just like one glass of wine. You know, I've been really good. I deserve a break. I do. I really deserve a break. Do you know how hard it is to get up and go work out every morning? Like, I deserve a little bit of time. I, do, I, I can have a little bit of a break. Okay, so I did, I had some cookies. Okay, I had, I had a lot of cookies. And a lot of brownies too. And, and I think I kind of overdid it on the wine. It's just so hard. Ugh. Ugh. If that was you, it's okay. It is a little bit difficult. And when you put a lot of pressure on yourself to be perfect and do all these things that you are supposed to correct, it's not gonna happen overnight. It's just not. So if things kind of fell apart, it's okay. It's okay. I got your back. Because I have three tips that you can do starting today, starting right now, after you watch this video, that you can implement and get yourself back on track. Number one, focus on one thing. That's right, just one thing. Don't think about all the things that you want to do differently. Just do, just do one thing. Just start small. You can focus on that. It's much easier to focus on one thing than a, a whole bunch of things. So if you don't have breakfast in the morning, maybe that's your one thing you focus on. You just have breakfast every morning. That's your goal. Get up and have breakfast. Or maybe you like to snack at night, like after dinner, and that could be the one thing you focus on to cut out snacking late at night. Number two, have an event to work toward. So maybe you have like a wedding coming up or a vacation coming up. It's a lot easier to sort of like break your goals into small chunks of time. So say you have a vacation coming up in March or something. That's enough time where you can like lock in and focus say, okay, I have a couple months to sort of get it all together. Let me really focus on myself and do all the things I want to do for March. And then maybe after March you have like another something that comes up in maybe June or something. Maybe there's a a wedding then or whatever and then you can sort of focus on that little time so if you break it into small chunks of time and going toward events something that you can actually go to um, it helps to just sort of keep it all in focus as you know you have something to strive toward to work for number three get some help so maybe you have a friend or your spouse uh, who also wants to lose weight or do some sort of aspect to improve themselves and everybody can improve something. So maybe you guys work together as a team to help encourage each other. So whether you have a workout buddy or someone who can help you with your diet, um, you know, you guys both focus on your diet together, or you can enlist the help of a personal trainer like myself. And it's just really good to have somebody help you, help guide you, and um, have some accountability too. So hopefully these tips were helpful for you. Um, if you found yourself falling off track, it's okay. Just sort of pick yourself back up. And the main thing is that, you know, these things take time. You are ultimately trying to change habits. And to change a habit permanently for good, long term, it's gonna take some time. So don't beat yourself up. Don't get too down on yourself if you don't do things exactly how you had envisioned that you should. Just keep at it, keep working towards your goal, and eventually you will get there. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. If you have not subscribed to my channel, be sure to do so. And if you like this video, go ahead and hit a thumbs up, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. So on a side note, you guys, 
I am a certified personal trainer, so if you are needing help, needing some assistance in reaching your fitness goals, I would love to help you. I train online, I do one-on-one -on -one training uh, here locally in Arizona, but if you are anywhere else in the world, um, I do distance training as well. So if you need some help, holla at your girl. Go ahead and send me an email and let's chat. So again, thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.